Hey guys, Stab in the Eye here. What I have for you today is my progressive lock list up to the orange belt. Um, the first lock I have is the six pen acrylic lock. I'm going to substitute that for my cutaway lock because um, it's on loan to one of my friends and this will be adequate for this video. I have an old master number three that's a little bit beat up um, and these things do get a little bit more difficult with age. A Master Lock 140, two Brinks 40 millimeter laminated pad locks. Um, both the Brinks and the Master 140 are four pens and have one spool. A Master Lock 570, which is a dead core lock, five pens, four spools, one standard pen. Then we have this really cool Commando Marine. It's built very well, very strong. It has actually has serrated key pins, um, serrated spools, and serrated driver pins as well. It's a very well built lock and it has a Yale style keyway. Um, it's a non removable core, so unfortunately, we won't be able to gut the lock. So I'm just going to start with the clear acrylic lock and see what it takes to get in. Um, it's all standard pens. I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the tension using bottom of the keyway tension with a standard hook in 25 thousandths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just go down the stack and you're open. Now, on this master number three, the older they get, the little bit harder they get to SPP, in my opinion. Um, so. I'm not going to waste my time with that. I'm just going to zip it open. Usually you can get it in one or two tries. So, And we're in. Um, same thing with the Master 140. I don't really think that this is a great lock for someone to learn on. It's built pretty poorly. It's a little bit more difficult to SPP. And when you compare it for a similar price point to this Brinks, it's night and day. This Brinks has great feedback. You can feel what you're doing. It has a spool in it, and it really is a great lock to learn on. This lock pretty much opens as soon as you put the tension wrench in and the pick, and you're pretty much, you know, get right in. Now, sometimes I can zip open these brinks. I'll give it a quick try, but if not, I'm just going to open it with the top of the keyway tension and a 50 thousandths um, pry bar. Okay, that looks like it's not going to want to do it. So that's no big deal. Okay, so this is a four pin lock with one spool. Okay. And we're open just one, two, three, four down the stack. Okay, it's got another one. One, two, now you can see that nice false set. You can see that we are no longer at 90 degrees. It's now turned about 40, you know. So one's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four is given some counter rotation. And I drop something. Alright, one. And four is given counter rotation. Sometimes I'm convinced this one has two spools, so two just gave counter rotation, and four opens the lock. I got counter rotation on pin two and four. That's why I wrote in the progressive lock list at least one spool. You can't take these apart, so you really don't know for sure unless you want to really cut them open. So the Master 570 is a five pin lock with um, four spools, one serrated. I have been able to zip this one as well. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera. It's not really my focus of this video, but we can give it a give it a couple tries. But if not, we'll just, you know, we're open. But just to do just a pure SPP, bottom of the keyway. And just go one. Two, three, four, five. Got a false set. Pin four has got counter rotation. 
and we are open. And now we have a Commando Marine lock. This is a really nice lock, very well built. I'm going to do um, top of the keyway tension. See what it takes to get in. One, two, three, four, five. Down the rack. And we are open. Here's a picture of the key of the Yale. I mean of the um, Commando Marine. And we'll just get a quick focus on everything. Alright, so just to recap, we got the clear acrylic plastic lock. This will focus. It's a six pin standard pin lock. Master lock number three. Master 140. Two Brinks laminated padlocks where I recommend if you're starting out to start with a cutaway lock and then I would skip the 140 and go to the Brinks after you mastered the number three master lock. Master 570, that's a dead core lock good lock to learn on, good spools, you can really feel binding pins very well, get a good amount of feedback. And then the Commando Marine. This is a really impressive lock with serrated key pins, serrated spools, serrated regular driver pins. Um, it has a difficult keyway. It's strongly built um, on these locks. If you want to try to check out what the inside is, there are a couple videos online that you can um, take a look at. But Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, these are locks that will get you up through the orange belt and hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good day. Thank you.